Hey folks, Eric Scheidel here, the HVAC Service Mentor, and welcome back to the channel. Good to have you. Today we are going to uh, clear up some of the confusion that surrounds the term common. Uh, common is a very common electrical term that you'll find all throughout the HVAC industry. You'll see it everywhere. You'll find it on compressors, you'll find it on motors, you'll find it on switches, you'll find it on thermostats, you'll find it on transformers, you'll even find it on your multimeter right there, C-O-M for common. Common is represented usually by the letter C or by the indicator C-O-M or written out in the whole word common. And it can be confusing because what does common mean? Well, as it turns out, there is no single answer to that question. In fact, there are a lot of answers to that question, and most of them are right, which commonly creates confusion around the term common. So stick around. I'm going to explain exactly what common means and hopefully clear up a lot of this confusion about common. Okay, so... Let's start off with a basic definition of the term common. What does common actually mean? So here we go. Common means that multiple other terminals, electrical terminals that is, have this terminal, the one that's labeled common, in common with one another. There you go. You're all set. Nothing more to see here. Now, no. still confused? I bet. Let's get into some examples or maybe something that you can relate this to that has nothing to do with electricity. So let's say that your uh, ABC supply house has a line and in that line is Bunny Rabbit and Tiger. And Bunny Rabbit and Tiger are standing in line together and they strike up a conversation and Tiger says to Bunny, hey Bunny, I see you work for XYZ Heating. Did you happen to know cow when cow worked at XYZ Heating? And Bunny says, yeah, I know cow. And Tiger says, I know cow too. Small world. Come to find out that Bunny and Tiger have just learned that they have cow in common with each other. That's what we mean by common. Bunny and Tiger are otherwise unrelated to one another, but they're connected through their common connection with cow. Now that sounds absolutely ridiculous, I know, and it is oversimplified, but it's kind of fun and might help you remember what we mean when we say common. Come to find out, common is not necessarily anything specific. Let's use some examples from what we work on in HVAC to identify the different ways in which common is used. And remember, all we're talking about here is that the common terminal is common to other terminals. They share that terminal in common. Let's look at a permanent split capacitor compressor, which is still the most common type of compressor motor on smaller residential sized HVAC equipment. You'll also find PSC motors in a bunch of different fans and blowers and things like that. So in a PSC motor, there are two independent windings, the start winding and the run winding. And the start winding and the run winding are connected together at a common point. This point is named common. When you look at the wire connection terminals on a compressor, they're labeled S, R, and C. S for start, R for run, and C for common. What's not so obvious is the fact that the start winding and the run winding are connected together at the common terminal. Start and run share that terminal in common with each other. This is a simplified schematic diagram of a PSC motor, and you can show the or see the start winding, the run winding, and the common connection between the two of them. That's one example of common. Here's another. A dual run capacitor, commonly found in air conditioners and heat pumps all across the country. A dual capacitor is essentially two independent capacitors that are in the same housing. And because they're in the same housing, it just makes sense for them to share a common terminal. The terminal designations on dual run capacitors are HERM for hermetic compressor, that's what HERM stands for, FAN 
for the condensing fan motor, and common for C. So the Herm terminal and the fan terminal have the C terminal in common with each other. In between the common terminal and the Herm terminal is the capacitor for the compressor, which may be a 35 microfarad, for example. In between the fan terminal and the common terminal lies the fan capacitor, which is commonly a 7.5 microfarad capacitor. We would call this a 35.5 dual run capacitor. It has two capacitors of independent values. And the wire that comes in to feed power to both of those start windings, their compressor start winding and the fan start winding, comes from a common source. Hence, another reason for the term common. Here's an example of a dual run capacitor with the C terminal in black at the bottom, the fan terminal in green on the right, and the Herm terminal in white on the left. So just imagine that from here to here is the 5 microfarad capacitor, and from here to here is the 35 microfarad capacitors. And of course, dual run capacitors come in all different sizes and values, 35, 5, 25, 5, 5 is real common, sometimes 7.5, right? Uh, a 55, 7.5, uh, 85, 5. Uh, all types of different values, but what we're talking about is one device that actually has two devices inside of it. Here's another completely different example of the term common. If you have a switch, which is a single pole, double throw switch, commonly found in a relay, so a set of relay contacts will often use the term common to designate the common input pole. Uh, where uh, we have one pole of power coming in, and then that relay contact can switch that power out to other terminals, which would be the throws. So I have one pole in and two th possible outputs known as throws. And these are labeled common for C. Normally open is NO, normally closed is NC. So there's one common input connection. And in between the other two connections is one set of normally closed contacts and one set of normally open contacts. In a normal condition, power comes in on the C terminal and it naturally routes itself through the normally closed electrical contacts to exit the NC terminal. When the relay is activated, the closed contact opens and the open contact closes, rerouting the power from the common terminal through the NO terminal. So the C, NO, and NC designations are very common on single pole double throw switches of multiple types, very commonly on relay contacts. Here's an example. This is a single pole double throw uh, peanut relay. The coil terminals are over here on the left, so we'll ignore those for a minute, and the contact terminals are over here on the right. This terminal closest to you is labeled on the label here as 4 slash 6. You notice that 4 and 6 are joined together on the little diagram here. So 4 and 6 both have the same function. And these would be the COM terminal or common terminal. And in the normal at rest position, uh, 6 and 5, when 6 is connected to 4, so also 4 and 5, are connected together. That is our normally closed contact arrangement. When the relay is activated, the contacts change position, and now we have contact between 4 and 2. So 4, or this terminal here that's closest to you in the picture, would be your COM. And 5, which is the one that's furthest away over here, would be your NC. And 6, excuse me, 2, pardon me, over here in the upper right would be your NO. Here's another example of the same thing on a completely different device. This is a um, pressure transmitter. And this pressure transmitter is a special device that takes a uh, pressure measurement and converts it into an electrical signal. This particular pressure transmitter also has auxiliary relay contacts, which are labeled COM and C and O. If we just focus on terminals 3, 4, and 5, which are my being moused around right now with my pointer. You'll notice the terminal four is the common terminal. Uh, 
Com terminal 5 is the normally closed contact associated with terminal 4. Terminal 3 is the normally open contact associated with terminal 4. Therefore, terminal 3 and terminal 5 have terminal 4 in common with one another. So I would be able to utilize this set of contacts, this contact arrangement, to um, cause some device to be either activated or deactivated or both at a specific pressure set point that I would program into this transmitter. There happen to be two of those. There's SP1 and SP2. SP2 is typically going to be used as an alarm, which is indicated by the AL, the SP2 slash alarm relay contacts. So that when we reach a certain uh, pressure, uh, we can close or open a set of contacts that can either uh, create an alarm or uh, of either rising pressure or falling pressure. That's what that's used for. So here we have seven is the common terminal. Eight is the normally closed terminal. And six is the normally open comp terminal. So terminal six and terminal eight share comp terminal seven in common with one another. Notice that terminals three, four, and five have absolutely nothing to do with terminals six, seven, and eight. Nothing in common whatsoever. Here's another example of the term common being used in a low voltage wiring diagram. When we have a transformer that is outputting 24 volts AC, the common terminal designations, there's that term again, uh, the normal or uh, often used terminal designations on a 24 volt transformer is R and C. R typically stands for the 24 volt hot output and C stands for common. Common has a little more to it when it comes to low voltage transformers. However, we look here on this diagram. This is the transformer. Everything below is uh, low voltage. I don't, not showing the high voltage because this darn thing is hard enough to read the way it is. Notice right here is a terminal called C. And I will get my uh, image out of the way so you can see the rest of this. No pun intended. All of these terminals over here on the right are common. All of the low voltage loads, including this contactor, this relay, these electric heat sequencers, uh, this outdoor fan contactor, these two compressor contactors, they all connect to common, back to common on the transformer. The low voltage terminal strip over here has a C connection, and this C connection is common it branches off to multiple things and it ultimately connects back to common on the transformer. So common in a low voltage circuit represents our common point of return for all of the low voltage loads. Now here is another place where this common term can become confusing. Look at the primary side of the transformer up here. This is a multi-volt primary winding on a transformer. It can be connected to 460 volts, 230 volts, or 200 volts AC. And there is a fourth terminal called common. On a multi-volt, multi-tap transformer, the one terminal that is always going to be connected to the power supply, regardless of what voltage is being used, is the common terminal. <laughs> and that's why this terminal is called C. So if I was going to operate this device on 460 volts, uh, my 460 volt, one of my 460 volt lines would connect to the 460 volt terminal here. The other would connect to the common terminal. If on the other hand, I was operating this on 230 volts, the uh, wire would switch over here to the 230 volts and be connected there. And the other leg would still be connected to common. That is the common terminal point for all voltage supplies for this transformer. Notice that this common and this common have nothing in common with one another, which can tend to add to the confusion. So I guess what I'm getting at here is that the term common and what does it mean kind of depends on the application and it depends on the situation. And to make things even more confusing in our HVACR industry, there is nothing common about our nomenclature.
Different people call things different by different names, and that includes major manufacturers of equipment and people who draw wiring diagrams like this one. The only standard is there is no standard. The last common designation of the term common is what I call a sensor common. Some electronic controllers and electronic circuit boards take information from analog sensors, very commonly temperature sensors. Boiler outdoor reset controllers do this quite a bit, where there will be an outdoor air temperature sensor and there will be a supply water temperature sensor. And the controller needs to reference both of these temperatures to make decisions about how it adjusts the temperature set point of the boiler. So there are two sensors and there are three terminals that these sensors connect to. Sensor one, which is meant to be the outdoor sensor, sensor two, which is meant to be the supply water sensor, and sensor common, which means that the other two wires of each sensor both land on a common terminal. Both sensors share this terminal in common with one another. So that kind of wraps up our brief discussion of the term common as it applies to HVAC. I hope you found this helpful and I hope it helps clear up some of the confusion. One thing that you want to remember about the common terminal is just because two terminals near one another happen to both be called common, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're meant to be connected together. <laughs> As we just noticed in that low voltage wiring diagram with the two common terminals on the transformer that had absolutely nothing in common with one another. So keep that in mind. By the way, if you find this kind of information helpful, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because we drop videos like this on a very regular basis in an attempt to help our friends in the HVACR community. And so if you find that valuable, please sign up, please subscribe, tell all your friends. And while you're thinking about it, go to the website at www.hvacservicementor.com. We have a lot of really cool training opportunities available there. And if you sign up on our website, you will be given access to a 100% free full length training session. So go and check that out. And uh, I'll see you again real soon. This is Eric Scheidel, the HVAC service mentor. So by the way, if you're still here and not down in the comment section yet, which by the way, feel free to leave a comment on this. I'd love to hear from you. What about the multimeter, Eric? Hey, good question. So on this multimeter, you know, you'll have a black lead and a red lead. Well, your black lead is always going to be on the common terminal. If you're measuring volts or ohms or temperature, your other lead goes into that hole. If you're measuring milliamps or microamps, your other lead goes into that hole. You'll switch it from this hole to that hole. And if you're measuring higher amps, you'll move it to that hole. So what it is selling us is that this red hole, this red hole, and this red hole all have this black hole in common with one another. Hence the term common in this application.